Rawr! Mecha Adam! <laughs> Do it. Go away, stupid text. And get the Mecha Adam. Yeah. That suck. Oh, hello folks. I thought I'd do a video on how to use the uh, pack thing. See here, my current skin. I have a saw blade spinning on my head, a couple of lamps for eyes, a car for a head, and cast pretty much all the way now. Slightly larger than a regular NPC, because you can do player scaling. But that seems to only work on client and not the server end, so everyone else sees me as uh, this tall and everything's all shrunk together in a very bizarre manner. So, now to use the pack. First you download it, and then you install it. Then you open the menu. Post processing, no, it's under options, pack client, show editor. Then you get this. If you hold down right click with your mouse, you can zoom out. Hold down left click, you can rotate camera around. That's your basic thing. Right. So, top right, right hand of your menu, you'll have general and part. General is applied to your entire player. So, go to preview, enable T pose, and the focus. Don't know what those do. I'd leave these two ticked. Uh, creation, so you can do everything. Player, so you can draw a weapon, you can draw your model. I think this gives you an option for a few more models as well. Not many more, but still. Uh, you've got scale. It's not right, my scale's huge at the moment. My scale's normally 1.5. I can go up to about 1.6 and it still looks right. This is only client side, it isn't server side. Well, at least that's what we've found. Change that 1.7. But if you want, you can change the X, Y, and your Z, so I can have it really tall and skinny, I can go really wide, or I can go really square. <laughs> That's kind of cool looking. But no, I'll just go for 1.7 at the moment, but I'd leave that to normal. Then you got colour and material. Colour isn't like the regular things, you've got red, green, blue, then transparency at the bottom, and material, which you click in the middle, then you can pick your material off. So, how to add a part. You press Alt and Q, and you bring up the menu. The only problem is, it doesn't always want to stay on, so I found the best thing to do is try and get in the little search text thing, then write what I want, or then just get it from the menu. Then, say, let's see, what's something actually good looking? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's say I want to add... God, I don't want to ruin my suit now, because I like this suit. I know, general... Ah, I know, TF2. There you go. Right, close that, Alt-Q again. Might have to press it a few times. Now, deep in here is my hat. I'm going to zoom in a minute. Whenever you spawn a prop, I should have really cleared my... I know, I'll move it out of the way first. I'll just grab it a second. Whenever you spawn anything, it's really small normally. So, here's my hat. If you'll notice, there's a blue, a green, and a red line on it. Now, on each of these, you've got a dot. If you grab the dot at the end, you can just move it. See, if I... On... What's it? One-dimensional, so you can move it forward and backwards. If you grab the yellow dot in the middle, you can move it any way you like. You've also got these little sort of C shapes halfway up, which allow you to rotate around the yellow dot. But you'll want to attach it to certain places. So, second half of the menu, you go to part, go to general, you tell it where to attach to. So I've got head, I've got all the lefts on one menu, neck, pelvis, all the rights in another menu, and then the four places on the spine. So I want to attach it to the head, so I go to head. And the problem is, I'm looking down at the moment, so where my head is is kind of off. And then you just grab what you want, and keep moving the camera around until you get it where you want. Okay, you've got all the other options. Offset's the same as just grabbing it and moving it. Angle's about the same, but angle also let you make things spin. I'm going to bring the hat back out here. So 
and you change the velocity one way or another, you make it spin. That's why I've got the spinning sword blade head. Go down to scale, you can either change the scale completely, so, you know, the whole thing. Fantastic. Or you can change the scale on a certain direction. Then you reset. So I'll swing my hat round a bit. Round again so I can see what I'm doing. I want it that way round. Shuffle it over myself. Move the red down. Move the green. Move that. So it's sort of right. Bring it up a bit more, make it massive. Make it look like a bubble bowl bar brain. Yeah, move the camera around some more. Basically lots of this. This is what you're going to be doing most of the time. You sort of get the idea. Every new part you spawn goes into the parts menu at the top, so if you want to move that again, you can just click it and it'll move. And then once you've built your outfit, attached everything where you want it, Alt-Q all the time to get the menu, come down to here where the save is, and you've got where your outfit, save to server, save to client, save. Shit. Oh well. And the problem is, if you open this again, it saves under the same name. So my sword blade head one now has an extra hat. Okay, you put whatever name you want in. Click where outfit, and then click the X at the top. If I now bust out the camera again, I now have a hat attached to my head and everything. I also put my own weapon on. Uh, you can hide weapons, you can hide pretty much anything. Uh, what you can't do is put something in front of you and then see it. Basically all your props are invisible to you unless you've got a camera. The suit or whatever is still applied in vehicles, so if you decide to get in a car you then spill out of the size, which I do. So yeah, that's how to use the uh, pack thing. Depending on how long this video has left, I might do a clip of me and building a new suit to some very annoying music. Who knows? Tune in again next time. The continuing adventures of Sawhead. And the way. Yeah.